Out of all the things I've been cooking lately, this paleo spaghetti squash pad thai is getting me the most excited, not only because my five-year-old gives it the 10 thumbs up, because it really does taste like the real thing. And this spread of ingredients is basically vegetables, just super light and delicious. And I'm so excited to show you how to make it. So I'm just gonna finish slicing up my onions. And then we're gonna put the onions in the pan. And the beauty is that after the onions kind of caramelize a little bit, everything goes in one pan and we don't have to dirty up and do different, you know, sometimes when you make a pad thai, it's like fry this and then add that and then fry that and then add that. We're just gonna throw everything in at the same time, pour the sauce on over it and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna preheat the pan with some oil. You can use peanut oil or olive oil. Nice, generous sprinkling. Okay, so now that your onions are browned, you're gonna add your spaghetti squash that we've baked. And we're gonna add the green onions, which I like to chop kind of big so it looks like that Thai dish. And then we've got our bean sprouts. And some garlic, pre-crushed already because it's easier. See how nice it is when all of your ingredients are pre-measured, you just put them in and you can actually eyeball and see if you forgot anything. So we forgot our tofu and we got a little spot for that right here. I love a lot of tofu, but you can even t omit it if that's not your thing. Salt and pepper. And then I pre-measured the sauce ingredients with some coconut palm sugar or any kind of sweetener that you want and some tamari and some rice wine vinegar. and scramble. And then I let this go on high just to kind of evaporate some of the sauce a little bit. See how the egg is nice and cooked. Oh my God, yum. Wrinkle of crunch. Today we're using peanuts. You can do cashews or almonds or anything crunchy that you like to put on top. Do a little squeeze of lime, however much you like. You could even eat this straight out of the pan make a one pan dinner for two. And a little bit of cilantro. And it is done. Everyone's about to come for lunch, but I'm so excited about this dish that I have to take a bite first. Oh, and it even looks like pasta. Hm. Let's see if it tastes like the real Thai thing. such comfort food, mm. yes, so good.